Well, you can't draw it up much better than what we've seen from the Toledo Walleye during this playoff run. That is eight straight wins and two series sweeps in a row. They are halfway now to a Kelly Cup. What a performance from the Walleye in game four. They jumped on Cincinnati 2-0 after one period, and they never slowed down. They scored nine goals en route to a huge victory. They sweep the Cyclones, and now they're moving on to the conference finals once again. And Payne decided to go back with Mark Sinclair here in game four. Off the face off, a centering pass. They score! That were there, successful on almost half of the sides of the spectrum. Courteous shot, they score! Make it 2 nothing. Gives way to Hawkins. He'll spin up near the line. He'll let a wrist shot go. They score! season and at the line a shot there blocked by Sturts and he's away Andrew Sturts he's in short-handed on warm he scores <laughs> tie it blitz down low to tie it we'll take it back to the blue line you know they want to get Hawkins loose if they can but Cincinnati's done a nice job to keep that from happening puck loose in front they score <laughs> Back in 2010. Long pass ahead, Henson. He's on. He scores! The shots in this period are 11 to 5 in favor of Toledo. They're going to get more as Warrat cuts to the front of the net. He scores! Kelly Cup playoffs that won their first eight. So and another. Gordy Green will make another picking up eight. There's the eighth goal on the board. And he's going to come to Gordy Green. Zan will play it in. Toledo's already set a playoff record for their longest winning streak. And they're going to add another. Right, to be able to do this the way you guys did it, how impressive of a hockey game was that from your guys? Well, it was, I mean, complete game effort. And that's what we, we knew it was going to take that to, to get through the uh, Cincinnati team. And um, real proud of the way they prepared for this game mentally. Uh, everyone was involved. Everyone contributed in their own way. Um, so it's a total team effort and something, something we're going to need. And we can look back and, and see how we played this game, that we're going to need that moving forward uh, into the Western Conference Finals here. If I would have told you that you guys were going to win eight straight to start the playoffs and be able to sweep a team that good, um, what would you have said at the beginning of these playoffs? I don't know if I can really say that on camera, to be <laughs> honest with you. I would have called you crazy for sure. Uh, Indy was a really good opponent, um, gave us some fits at times, and obviously I think we, we I don't want to say we lucked out, but we caught a, a tired Cincy team games one and two from their, from their emotional game seven win. We saw how hard they pushed us yesterday, and tonight is a complete game. But, again, I, no, I, I wouldn't have said we'd be able to sweep both series, especially out of our division. I consider it uh, to be extremely hard division. Um, but our guys are on fire, they're on a roll, and they're keeping it going. Um, you talked about the contributions up and down the lineup, but you're, I mean, you're getting them from everywhere right now. How big is that at this time of year? Well, it's a, it's a deep team. There's a lot of depth. I mean, you saw the decisions we had to make uh, to, to build this playoff roster. And I think everyone understands their role. Everyone knows exactly what they need to do. And, and they're performing those roles to perfection right now. And that's what we need. We need everyone together. It doesn't matter if they're, they're sitting out, not playing. They, they play minimal minutes. They're on a special teams. Everyone's got a role. And, and you know, everyone's bought into that. And, and they're doing what we need to do here. You don't know if it's going to be Idaho or Allen just yet, but you do know you're going to have to make a time change and there's going to be a flight and all those kind of things. What do you guys now need to do here in these next few days to get yourselves ready for that next series? Well, obviously, we got as, as a staff, we got preparation. Our guys, it's, it's day by day. Uh, they're going to enjoy this here tonight, maybe part of the weekend. We'll see. We'll get back to work as a team on Monday uh, and, and be prepared for the Western Conference Finals, no matter who we have. Uh, but our guys, it, again, they're going to worry about tomorrow, they're going to worry about Sunday and Monday. And um, again, it's food, making sure you're eating the right things, the, the hydration, the sleep, it all comes into play. And we talked about controlling what we can, and that's what we're going to do here up until we find out who we play.
how impressive of a performance was that from your guys here tonight to be able to do what you did and to sweep that team? Yeah, obviously we knew it was going to be a hard fight and uh, we got the first two on the road and we knew coming back here to the Huntington Center that people would be rocking and we got game three and coming in today we just we had a lot of true professionals in that dressing room and we were ready to go and we were ready to end it. Did you guys know that you were going to be able to put on a performance the way that you guys just did? I mean, you never know, but obviously we get off to a hot start. I think that's maybe our fourth or fifth game we've scored in our first three shifts, and that's, you know, that's a backbreaker for a lot of teams. It's, we, we're coming out fast, we're starting fast, and it's every line. We're all coming at you in waves, and obviously we got the early one, and then once I think Tootsie scored on that power play in the second, that's kind of what put the game out of reach. I asked Swati this, but if I would have told you before the playoffs that you'd be able to win eight straight and sweep the first two teams you play, what would you have said before the playoffs? I would have said we got that same team that we had on that 18-game that run. Uh, we got a lot of true professionals in our dressing room. Guys are ready to go every night. Even yesterday, it's an off day. Guys are doing the right things. Everyone's outside together doing stuff to stay active and get ready for today. And, you know, whether I've said it numerous times, whether it's the guys that are in the stands or the guys in and out of the lineup or – our top guys on the power play, everyone's ready to go at all times, and I think it speaks testament to our team. Once again, you're going to have a little bit of time to sit and rest and figure out who you're playing next. What do you guys do with this time off, and how important is that at this time of year? I mean, we'll enjoy it tonight as a team, and then uh, we'll, we'll turn the page Monday. The coaches will get us ready for whoever we're playing, and for us, it's just about coming in and playing our game. I think that's the most important thing, and I think uh, the way we're built, we're going to be ready to do that, whether it's next Friday or next Saturday. Up next, it will be either Idaho or Allen. We will find out soon, but one thing the walleye know is they are going to get a little bit of rest before they get set for the conference finals. We want you to be part of all the action. Make sure you head over to ToledoWalleye.com right now and get your tickets, and we will see you here for the conference finals.